big hairy hello and welcome back to pod vlog that me. was my bit what was your bit you're say you're gonna say this well, okay sorry <laughs> try again come on do your bit all right anyways we will be your hosts uh me hey. baboon king and welcome back to the pod vlog everybody <laughs> oh this is a this is so shade and i'm baboon king and uh, before we get to in anything of the news, the vlog, and the sub challenge, I just want to say that we are streaming right now. So go ahead and look in the link down below in the description and come and say hello. Yes, it's probably going to be two man arc survival of fittest. Or maybe if you're not available, I will be robo crafting, trying to figure out the oh, yeah. new crap. It's really oh, weird. really? I don't like the new update. But let's talk about that later. Yeah, but first, it's the news. So first of all, we have um, the Battlefield 1, which has been launched, a trailer yesterday, if I'm not mistaken. I've got no idea about any of this, so please enlighten me. Yeah, yesterday, I think it was yesterday, it was trending on Twitter, and, um, well, that was Friday for us. And, um, yeah, and people were just going mad about it, but in a good way. The Battlefield 1 trailer, I did have a personal look at it, it looks freaking awesome i i it blew me back and just to give you guys an idea i did play battlefield 1942 it was the best setting best shooter game i've ever played with that setting of world war one and then yeah now people are actually angry the community of the call of duty community they are super pissed off because Call of Duty Infinite Warfare is set into space. People wanted something in the World War setting, and Battlefield has delivered it. What's your thoughts? Um, I've never actually played any of the Battlefield games at any point in my life ever. Okay. I've played a few of the Call of Duty ones. So, yeah, um, actually, I like I said, I do like the setting in the past games or ba past uh, life like in World War and that kind of stuff, um, because there is so much to work on, especially with different factions and countries and all that. So Battlefield 1 looks very promising. And um, I think we should move on to the next item, shall we? And what is the next item? The next item is the ARC ETA updates and the survival oh, of the fittest I'm names. I'm so sick of that stuff. All right, so let's get on to the ARC ETAs and developers, Wildcard Studios. This one goes out to you guys. Listen, just drop the ETA stuff. All right, or maybe yeah. just refine it a little bit better in a sense of saying this update is going to be available in April or n November or whatever. So you have ample time, you know, to... And it doesn't just get on everyone's nerves when you say there's going to be an update like 5th of May and then it comes out on the 9th. Yeah. Something like that. I mean, what, what you guys can do probably is say it's going to be in April. Uh, you don't give it a specific date. And then you go ahead and when you're ready, when you feel like it's ready to go, launch the spotlight um, video on that on the day yeah. you're ready. And then the next day, put the update available for everyone. That would be cool if they did it like you know, that. that. That makes more sense. People, And then you will see that people will be like, wow, is this going to be included? Is this going to be included? I cannot wait for this. And you release a whole list of things. And, and then none of it's in the update. Yeah, okay. Some of the things, all right? Just maybe one or two dinos and maybe a, a one more primitive weapon. <laughs> and um, also, developers, we are getting sick and tired of the survival of the fittest names. Really, we yeah. are. That, because Some of them are absolutely disgraceful. Disgraceful is racism. There is... Um, Homophobia, sexism. Yeah, all those things. I mean, seriously, it's, guys. The it's, racist ones are the worst, though. Yeah, especially the racist ones. And especially when there's people attacking religious people, people attacking people of other colors, other sexualities. Yeah. That is, that's Not in-game. We mean, like, their character and the tribe names. Yeah, exactly. The character names and tribe names are offensive. Seriously, they are very offensive. And if we sell, we might come off as a bit salty. But that, that stuff's got to go. I mean, Especially it, if we're like recording or streaming. Yeah, and then it's like it looks like we are encouraging such behavior. You know, I understand there's some of, people yeah. out there to have a few laughs and all that kind of stuff, but it's not funny. Though. It's not funny for the other ninety percent of the population of the world. All right, it's yeah, maybe it's ten percent, and that ten percent can be accountable for. I mean, whatever. But that especially is, if they want go. the game to become an esport. Exactly. So imagine you're going to do the to Dota 2 tournaments, you know, with uh, $20 million on the line. And here comes the KKK clan. 
I actually had a match with Tri yeah, Tribe earlier today called the KKK. And then the player name, I'm not even don't, gonna repeat. Don't do it. That, that's <laughs> we're here to give you guys opinions and all that. We're not here to, you know, be assholes, basically. So that is, I mean, seriously, that's that's gotta go. It's getting on people well, on my nerves. Are probably yours as well, Shade. And yep. um, yeah, it is. I think there's a lot of people who would like to see that be corrected. And I mean, it's not that hard of coding. I mean, I did entry level div um, programming. And that's not hard to do. Seriously, you just have a bunch of names, lists, and if the computer detects that this name is equal to that player's name, just, you know, just say no. <laughs> just say no. Yeah. You can't use that name. So I think we should move on to the next item, which is the GTX 1080 oh, yeah, graphics course. card. That thing looks like a monster. I'm going to quickly... I saw a... Um little graph showing it off quickly somewhere yeah. it was um the actual board meeting where they announced it yeah i think um it's gonna be it is practically probably the best gaming card you will ever purchase for a while for a long time i mean the gtx 980 was around for a long time the titan x had a power requirement of 250 watts mm -hmm. and according to this on relative gaming performance it was less than a 4 whereas the 1080 has power requirement of 180 watts and is 4.5 gaming performance wow so it's but actually more a lot efficient. less power and a lot higher performance yeah it's, yeah. it's more efficient it, uh, that's what it is it's it's amazing and the sh how it looks like is oh, proper that thing looks proper yeah it looks beautiful um but still, uh, I just, I'm just wondering how it would fare against, like, um, benchmarking, you know, against other cards and stuff. But it will probably trump all of them. I think AMD is going to get wiped out by it. Yeah. It, well, I don't know, because it's going to be pretty damn expensive. It's very expensive. It's going to be... I'm hoping it's going to make the price for the 980 and 970 drop a bit. Because I really want to get a 980 Ti yes. for my PC that I'm getting in September. Yeah, same here, but... We will have to see if um, it depends on how expensive that card's going to be. If it's way too expensive, yeah. people would rather go for an on eighty because it would still run up until today's games, maybe a bit more into like a year or two, and then it might start going into... The 980's performance is 2.5, and the 1080 is 4.5. Yeah, but remember... The, no the, idea the, what that measurement actually means, but... But remember the... Um, the requirements or the, the the price i mean is going to be yeah, very expensive and i mean you're going to have a pretty potent card at 1080p in your pc but that's that's it you know you you can still with the 980 you can still run the same game the same frame it's going to be faster than the titan x and half the price it's going to cost 450 pounds okay there was some bit of white noise there uh, sorry about that that's my fan turned on. And wow, apparently the GTX 1070 is going to be £270. So it's a lot cheaper than the other cards. Yeah, yeah. So prices are going to drop. Don't worry about that. Prices are going to drop for the 7, uh, 970 and 980, all those. Um, but like I said, the 1080 will come in play when there is a game that requires it. I think. I just want to a bit of scale here the 980 ti costs 800 where whereas the yeah as i just said this one's going to cost 450. Hmm. okay that is interesting so yeah i think we are done here of the news i believe so so yeah for my part here we are going to switch over to the vlog part and then the sub challenge and uh, as for me i'm gonna go now and play some survival of the fittest so thanks for listening slash watching everybody and I'll see you next time. Bye bye. Also just realized I haven't been wearing my glasses. Should have had them on. See you everybody. <laughs> Cheers people. And welcome to the podlog. So I quickly want to talk to you guys about um, a couple of things which is related to my channel. So first of all, let us get to the Twitter. So Twitter is what I use to let you guys know quickly and efficiently if there's going to be any videos today or whatnot. So I would really appreciate it if you guys would head over there, maybe follow me or whatnot. I am not like a, uh, 
attention whore or something. I just want you guys to follow me on Twitter so I can give you guys a quick update on what's happening. Like in, let's say for instance, if I am going to do a video or not, if there's going to be videos, is there um, a poll I'm running or something. I just want you guys to head over there and maybe just bookmark it or whatever. You don't necessarily have to follow me. But I'm not looking for a lot of followers. That's what I'm trying to say. Although I would like more followers, but it doesn't necessarily mean I'm uh, looking for attention. All right. So basically, it's just for the Twitter use. Its purpose for me is to give you guys a quick heads up if I cannot upload a video or if something goes wrong or something. So I just would like it if you guys would just head over there and maybe just take a look at it. But like I said, you don't have to follow me if you really don't want to. All right, so let's head on to the next thing. So today there is not going to be a sub challenge or subscriber challenge. What it is basically is every time when we do this pod vlog, I ask you guys to give me a challenge to do. Like last time somebody challenged me to do a woman's dress thing while playing a game. So me wearing a dress, woman's dress while playing some, uh, you know, a game or some sort. All right, so that is... A challenge so in it, the challenge can be anything right it could be anything you guys can go ahead in the comment section down below right now just let me know what you want to challenge me just anything um, it should not be harmful to anybody to myself or anybody around me and it should not be I don't know get me arrested but anything else would be fine um, but yeah that's there is not gonna be any sub challenge today so I'm deeply sorry about that but I'm waiting on you guys so let me know in the comment section challenge me to do something now let's head over to the next item on the list last but not least the forest is going to end off my series on my channel but there is gonna be a new series and I want to see what you guys have to say what do you guys think it is what game do you think I am going to play I really want to know from you guys so on the, in the comment section just let me know what do you think. What's what's going to be the next game? Um, I already know what I'm going to play. And it's I hope it's going to be awesome. I really hope so. But yeah, it, the forest is going to end. And I did have a great run in it. And I just ran out of things to do. But yeah, that's it. I think there's nothing else anymore. Hope you guys did enjoy the part vlog. Make sure you hit that thumbs up button to show me the support. And uh, yeah, I'll see you guys next time. Bye bye.